Today's video is basically on what to do with your money right now. It's just one of those questions. We don't know what else to do. A lot of people are really freaking out about a lot of different things and things that are taking place. They're not really prepared for what could be coming down the pike. And I don't think anybody really is ever totally prepared. Over investing in one area. This here is a, a big one. Balance is key in preparedness. Investing all your resources into one area, like food storage, for instance, can even leave you very vulnerable in all the other areas. It's very crucial to spread your investments across different aspects of preparedness. Supplies, skills, self-sufficiency, infrastructure, financial security, buying land, water, power. You know, you got to spread it all out here, folks. You can't just put all of it in one basket here. That's what I said in the beginning. Don't put your eggs all in one basket. You have to make sure that you, you're covering all the needs of you and your family. Ignoring personal needs. This is the last one on this list. And circumstances. Not all advice fits all circumstances, correct? For example, you might read that you need a year's worth of food storage, but if you live in a small apartment, this may not be practical, right? You have to tailor your preparedness strategies to your personal circumstances, your needs, your resources, your ability to store your products. It's very, very important. Lastly, it's investing wisely for preparedness essentials, a approach encompassing self-sufficiency investments, um, essential supplies and financial investments. Educate yourself and build essential skills. Consider acquiring productive land and durable tools and invest in alternative energy sources. You want to make sure you stockpile non-perishable food, clean water, medical supplies, hygiene products to ensure a basic survival needs are met. You're diversifying your preparedness. You want to make sure you're diversifying your financial portfolio also with assets such as precious metals, maybe some stocks, bonds, and even cryptocurrencies if you choose to do so on your own, acknowledging their potential risks. Beware of pitfalls like unproven technologies, risky financial investments, low quality supplies, and imbalance in investments. You want to make sure that you are tailoring your preparedness strategies to your personal circumstances and needs, always valuing quality and reliability. Now listen to this, folks. It is crucial to balance preparedness with living your life in the present. But don't let the concept of potential disaster stop you from enjoying your life today. So many people do that. Because preparedness, in all honesty, should provide peace of mind and a sense of security, not constant worry or fear. That's a lot, folks, right there. You see, we all are living the dream. You know, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of stuff we can't change. There's a lot of stuff we wish we could change. But in the end, we have to make sure that we're doing what we believe that we need to be doing. Uh, what makes us happy? What makes you feel good? Uh, where is it you want to be in your life? What to do with your money right now? I listed off a bunch of stuff. But maybe if you're not really happy with your situation, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe things have gotten so bad that you don't even want to even leave your home. Depending on where you live in this country, that could be a very vital solution and uh, a very scary one for a lot of people. So maybe it's time for you to look at relocating. Maybe you need to move where there's more family, more friends, or whatever. Or maybe you need to move 
to where there's nothing but birds and bees and trees and bears and uh, deer and antelope and whatever else. It's all up to you. But you have to realize, at this point in time in the game, with everything that is going on in our government and in this country, what you do with your money right now is very important. I would highly suggest people hold off on buying all this crap that's out there. Uh, every time you go into Walmart, if you go to Sam's, you go to any big box store, period, you know, they all want you buying these big screen TVs. You know, they're throwing them out there for like next to nothing now. Uh, you can get a 70, 80 inch TV now for what, seven, 800 bucks? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they want you to buy them. But what is that going to do for your family and a survival preparedness type scenario? And do you know how much stuff you could really buy with that 700 bucks? You could get some nice gear, get some nice tools. You can put away some nice uh, uh, food. Uh, you could probably buy some storage type equipment where maybe you could store some water, store your food. Think about it. This is all common sense managing your money. And like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, but it doesn't really take a lot to really figure this one out. So what you do with your money right now, for one, it is your business and you can do with it however you want to. My business is trying to help you understand what you do with your money right now could have a very longing effect down the road for you and your family. So you really have to sit back and think, how is this going to help me? What will this do for me? What will this provide for me in the future? Answer those three questions before you make that purchase. Just do me that one favor. And then you can spend your money however you want. Because you start asking yourself, Instead of just seeing the price tag and saying, I'm buying it now, you're going to see, you start thinking, that's the main goal. That's the whole name of the game. Think before you buy.